My name is Judy Higgins and uh, I teach science at the Leahy School and this is a fifth grade class. Today the students will be acting as engineers. They are designing and building roller coasters, learning about forces and focusing on forces. For example, they learned about gravity, how gravity is pulling all things towards Earth. They've learned about potential energy and kinetic energy and uh, one of the big learnings that they've really done a great job with struggling to understand is that as something goes up it is actually storing potential gravitational energy and then it's going to release that turning into kinetic energy to put it down the hill. We have their criteria is that their roller coaster has to one be safe so they're using marbles and those represent the passengers in the cars so you know that's the goal that it cannot fall off the track and secondly, their roller coaster must contain two loop-the-loops. So uh, they learned about centripetal force that will keep it going around the loop. And then they also have a sharp turn where they'll be kind of dealing with inertia. The marble will continue in one direction unless they provide an outside force to make it create that sharp turn. It's incredible for so many reasons. One. A lot of these kids are English learners, so uh, they do the reading and they work together on a graphic organizer. They learn the words, they learn the vocabulary, they can talk about what those vocabulary words mean, but then to put it in action and to actually see, they also have great conversations about when the hill is not steep enough, it does not have enough kinetic energy to get it down and around the loop-the-loops. I love this curriculum and I love teaching science because the students are incredibly motivated to do the reading, to do the graphic organizing, to do the work that they have to do in order to get to the investigation, because that's what engineering is all about. You're getting a problem, how are you going to solve it? What you're about to see is they're putting their diagrams into action and seeing the successes and some of the struggles that they'll have. My name is Liz Laney. My name is Zanaya. My name is Ladies. My name is Liz Marie. And, and this is the Roller Coaster Project. What we're doing right now, we're making like a roller coaster with exactly two materials, ten foams, like what we use for our roller coaster, and two dowels. We are the planning and other forces that we're trying yeah. to do. Yeah. So like, we had to like answer questions on like what kind of forces we need to use. So the mar so like our passengers, which is our marbles, if it falls off, we have to figure out why it's falling off. If it doesn't have enough force, or um, the, or the friction is not making sure it doesn't slow down like after a loop-the-loop. -loop. The adjustments that we're doing is we're trying to fix a crack that's here because if we have that there, the marble won't be able to go over the loop-the-loop. -loop. It's gonna be it's gonna be stopped by the crack and it's gonna slow it down. What was exciting is how we can use a lot of force to make a roller coaster so the marble can go through like a real roller coaster. And we might add a hill and they'll have enough force to go over another loop to loop. I only thought roller coasters were fun, but then when we learned about this, I was like, how many forces do you need to build a, to build a roller coaster? It goes down and then it goes to loops. And what force is getting it through the loop the loops? Kinetic energy. What else? What's and the friction? Oh, and centripetal. Who can say that? Centripetal force. Yes, excellent. Centripetal force. We'll keep it going around the loop the loops. Hi. Hi. My name is Damili and my name is Sony. Working and like building the project, like it's really hard to do it. We built this roller coaster out of our minds. These are the passengers and we can't let them fall off the track so they can enjoy the ride.